and edgier men in black. From charming performances to knockout special effects, Men in Black is one of the better Alien films. And while there are few ways one can consider to improve it, except maybe less sequels, the unmade film The Tourist would have offered a much more adult take on the alien refugee story. Conceived in 1980, almost two decades before the release of Men in Black, The Tourist also took place in Manhattan but focused more on an underground alien refugee society than human beings, through the lens of an alien disguised as corporate executive Grace Ripley. Ripley navigates the sex and drug-fueled alien underbelly of New York City while attempting to return to her home planet. By all accounts, the script was solid, and some genre luminaries, artist H.R. Geiger for one, had joined production. So what happened? When production started in 1980 at Universal, director Brian Gibson set out to simplify Claire Noto's non-linear screenplay. Gibson and Noto failed to come to an agreement, though, and Noto used a clause in her contract to pitch the story elsewhere, ending up with Francis Ford Coppola's Zoetrope Studio. Unfortunately, the studio lacked the budget to properly support the film, and Universal found ways to regain ownership of the script with no coherent plan to actually make the film. To date, Universal still owns the rights and occasionally flirts with the idea of bringing the tourist to life. But as it stands, all we have is a script and some H.R. Geiger concept art. Mm -hmm.